How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Shining Fades video. Today, just like last time, we have an ETB again, but instead of a uh, pin collection box, we also have this Cramorant V10. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into the ETB first, and then we will get our way into the tin. It's a little bit easier to open, so hopefully that won't take long to, to jump right into after this plastic on these ETBs is somewhat annoying and all the packaging, you know, and to go through the dice and all that other extra junk to get to the packs. Kind of annoying, but I do uh, really like getting these just for the storage capabilities. I have so much bulk, I gotta get rid of it eventually, but these are, in my opinion, the best way to store your bulk cards, so... If you can get a hold of some ETBs, even if you can get a hold of just like the ETB boxes themselves for a few bucks instead of the contents inside, I would say go ahead and snag them because it's definitely worth it uh, just for the, the storage possibilities. So, and of course we got the promo the EVB Max. Centering looks like it's off, still a little bit fatter on the right than the left. So I will probably keep this one in the cellophane as well, uh, just like last time. I guess I got pretty lucky on the first one, because the first one wasn't bad at all that I opened. Uh, the first ETB, whatever you want to call it. Let's uh, get these Charizard packs out of here, just in case. I know every video I say that I want to keep some sealed, but I never end up doing it, just because of the amount of pulls that we get from the other packs. It makes it feel like we could potentially have something else in the last couple packs, so... Maybe if I get my poles worth this time, I'll keep them sealed. Who knows? I'm trying. I really still want to pull that Ditto VMAX, though, so... For the time being, I might just keep on opening them all until I do pull it. Cramorant and a Celebi for the first pack. <coughs> Bless you. Alright, let's go ahead and hop into this Corviknight pack. Yeah, definitely keeping my arms on my desk is always shaking the camera, so I gotta try to not do that as often. It's just easier to do that, in my opinion. It's tiring holding your arms up the whole time. Team Yeltal, Rotom, Rusted Shield, Snom, Grookey, that was a Rusted Shield, right? Yeah. Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey. Rillaboom Reverse Rare, and a Volcadian. Not too bad. Two reverses so far, no hits. Eight packs left. And we still got the ten, so... Have... Good amount of chances to pull that Ditto. Ditto or Suicune, that's what I'm looking for right now. We got the Charizard. We got the gold card. Well, we don't have the V Eternatus, but we got Eternatus V Max three times now, which is crazy, in my opinion. I don't know how rare exactly that card is, but it is the second most valuable card in the set, so we only got Skyla once. Okay, there we go. It's Extricity V Max. Centering is really bad on this card, but it's still a nice pull and a luxury holographic. Look at how thin that is on the right side. Really nice pull. No whitening on the back. Centering is better on the back. It's a little thin on this side. Same side as the front, but that's still pretty good. This is definitely a binder copy. I'll take it. The other one that we pulled was definitely better than, than that. But still a really good hit. I do still need the Lapras V too. I have the Lapras V Max, but no Lapras B. I think I just said B. I meant B. Come on, pack, work with me. That could have been the Ditto, though, guys. Could have been the Ditto. We missed out. I highly doubt we're going to get another V Max pull inside of this, but it is possible. Uh, Real Breaking Nate got. 
the gold alternatives of VMAX and the Charizard VMAX and one ETB. So, EV, Professor's Research. That goes there, that goes there. Looks like we're going to probably be opening those Charizard packs because we only got one hit so far. These packs do not want to open for me. We got the Fort Knox of packs right here. What's going on? For the front. Starting off with a Leaf Energy, Wall Guy, Wacky, Team Yell Towel, Spinarak, Shinx, Coughing, Horsey, Grookey, Coughing Reverse, and a Ditto V. Come on. Come on, guys. That's the second one for today. <sighs> Why the Ditto V? I need the Ditto V Max. I do already have this card though, so that is a nice one to give to my little nephew. Centering's off a little bit. You can't really see it in the sleeve, I guess, because the background's black, but the right side is a tiny bit thinner. Maybe? I don't know. Actually, it, looks, it doesn't look that bad. I can't really tell on that one. Not a shiny hit, though. So, still got all these packs to open. I'm probably going to have to open these uh, Charizard packs for the rest of the shiny hits in this ETB. The one you got earlier was the shiny ETB? Yeah, that's the regular one. Uh, I could, I guess I could showcase that off. Uh, I, uh, my girlfriend opened a couple pin collection boxes earlier and she pulled shiny Toxel and a shiny Ditto V. So I don't think I've pulled that one on the channel yet. But we did pull it, so we finally got the Ditto V, shiny. It's pretty cool. But I'm looking for the V Max. That's the real blue blue blob that I want. The giant blue blob boy. Giant blue flubber. That's the movie, right? That's what it's called, flubber. You know what I'm talking about? With Robin Wilson, right? Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Flubber. The big, the green blob thing that like flies around. Shinx, Professor's Research. All right. <clears throat> what, so we got one VMAX, one shiny VMAX out of this whole ECB? Not good, boys. I mean, something's hiding in one of these Charizard packs. I can feel it. Something's hiding on us. What is it? What can we pull from these last three packs in the CTP? Albigas, Horsey, Rowlet, Morpeko, Spinarak, Snom, a Floatzel, and then a Manaphy. Okay. So, nothing yet. Two packs left. Let's see what we got. I only pulled one shiny card this whole opening so far. So, I'm not gonna stop. If we had pulled like three or four of them in here already, I might have kept one of these sealed. There's gotta be something else in here, right? You can't just get one VMAX. Okay, Galarian, Corsola, and a Dreadnought. I think I only have the V version of this card. Or maybe I don't. I have a version of this for for something. Maybe it's a like a different set where it's like the Cur Cursal of V full art or something like that. That's pretty cool. It's definitely a sh uh, baby shiny that I don't have, so we'll add it to the binder. Let's see if we can pull a third hit in this last pack. What do we got here? Can we get a shiny V card? More Peko. Oh, we get Ice Q, 
shiny and then a Zarud regular rare. Yeah, I don't know what generation this is. It literally just looks like a penguin with an ice cube head. <laughs> Centering is really off, left to right. But still overall, pretty cool pull. This is a shiny I don't have, so not upset about that. Could have been the sweet coon though. Could have been the sweet coon. Yeah, it's literally a penguin. All right, now we're gonna be hopping into this Cramorant V box. I do not have a uh, Cramorant V just yet. I think I have one Aldegoss and then maybe like two or three Boltons. So, let's see if we can pull something crazy out of this tin. Let's see if we can get some pretty good centering on this promo card. And what do we got? Uh, top looks a little thin, but it kind of looks uh no it's not even with the bottom but it doesn't look terrible overall what what oh really sleeve all right so here's the card uh left to right looks def decent this side might be a little bit thicker but definitely the bottom is thicker than the top so not terrible i'll still take it binder copy you know how it is. Probably wouldn't be a card that I would get graded anyway. You can look at it if you want. Um, and then, of course, we got the six packs. And then a tin to store some stuff in. So, sorry about poking the camera. Get this plastic out of here. Can you grab this, too, please? Somehow. Just everything off my desk. All right, we'll set this here for now. And we'll go ahead and hop right into the packs. We got one Charizard art. And it's pretty screwed up, but we'll get to that last. We're gonna open that one. Come on, packs. Opening from the bottom today seems like the way to go. These ones are really hard for me to open for some reason. I really gotta stop opening my camera. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying. This new setup it's screwing with me. I like it so much more because at least I'm not dropping the camera. I'm just pumping into it a little bit. But Yanma, Trap Inch. Ooh, we got a Grookey shiny. And on the end, just a Yan Mega. Baby shiny of uh, one of the, what is this, Gallery Region starters. Not too bad. I don't think I have. I might have Grookey, I know I have Score Bunny. I believe I don't have Sobble, but I have his like first evolution form. So trying to get all of those maybe just like the baby starter. Come on, pack, work with me. For the front. I probably should do the, uh, I kind of, I don't feel like doing it myself, but I like the way that Real Breaking Nate does it. Ooh, we got a ball guy. There we go. Yanma for the reverse. And then a full art trainer ball guy. Centering looks better on this one than my first one. Might be a little bit thin at the top, and it looks like there's a nick up there. Tiny bit of a nick, like, right there. So, still, still a cool card. Such a weird character. I haven't played uh, Sword and Shield, but to me it's just like a weird character. Thank you. Uh, I, don't, I don't, that's a hit. I don't like coming as a hit though, because all I really care about is the shiny cards. Shiny Pokemon, so. See what else we can get in this tin. If it was a Skyla, I would have ca called or uh, counted it as a hit, though. I'll take a better centered Skyla all day long. Ball guy, not so much. Or uh, I don't think I have Pokey Kid either yet. So that would have been cool. 
I have the Pokey Breeder, the Bird Keeper, I don't know, I don't know what he's called. Gossifleur, Choodle, I don't think I had a Rose yet either. Grookey, and Professor's Research. Alright, what do we got? Four packs left? Three packs. Did I actually, I actually open three packs already? Okay. Time flies when you're pulling nothing. Just ripping through the packs. Get out of here. Alright, let's see if we can get our sh second shiny pull out of this tin. Cramorant, Spinarak, Shinx, Coughing, Horsey, Grookey. Ooh, we got a shiny Coughing and a Zarude. Pretty sure I have. I've, I think I've pulled this one already, though, but always nice to get a better centered card, and I believe this one actually is pretty on point as far as centering goes, so that is not a bad pull. I'll take that all day. Alright, so we got two shiny pulls in this tin. Can we get a V or a sweet cone? I'm looking for that sweet cone. Can we pull it here in this pack? Shiny sweet cone. Come on, Team Yellow Towel, Quacky, Nicket, Gossifleur, Cacnea, Q Font. Weasel. Ooh, all right. We got a shiny double V and a Luxray. Kind of gave that away a little bit, but what is with what is on the card right there? Is it just the way that it was cut? I don't understand. What is that? Oh my God! Look at that on the back. That is so bad. You guys see that? The whole edge is like. Is it like extra cardboard? That is so bad. I mean, the centering is good, but the actual like cut quality is, oh my God, that's terrible. I might as well just throw that card out. Holy crud. No, I'm gonna give that to my uh, nephew. But that is that, that is probably the worst quality cut card I've seen out of this set yet. I mean, it's good that they're getting cards out there and they're they're producing more. I'm happy about that, but like, where's the quality control? You know, we want cards, but we also want good quality. We like, why can't the U.S. get Japanese card quality? We need the Japanese card stock. Nick it, and on the end, Ocanian. So. Not too crazy of an opening today. Um, I'll show you the polls real quick. From these, from the ETB. And the Kramer and V10, so we got the EV promo. We got Textricity VMAX. We got Ditto V. We got our Galarian Cursola. And we got Ice Q. We got our Kramer and V promo. We got our Grookey, we got our Ball Guy, and then we got our Coughing. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Stay tuned for uh, the next upcoming videos. I have a, another Vivid Voltage Booster Box, and I have Hidden Fates ETB and some other Hidden Fates stuff. Extra goodies to throw in that video, so stay tuned. Subscribe for some more crazy videos. Leave a like if you liked the video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.